Hello guys, this video will show you how to set up Jenkins on Kubernetes to help orchestrate your software delivery pipeline. My Kubernetes cluster is running on a Microsoft Hyper-V server. Please watch previous videos to see more details. Now, let's take a look what we are going to do. This file will define deployment for Jenkins master. I'm using a custom Docker file with some additional packages are installed. These are default ports of the container, HTTP and JNLP ports. The last one is persistent volume claim, all Jenkins data will be stored on it. This file will define the Jenkins volume. I'm using NFS storage but use can use other types. This file will define the service type of Jenkins master. I'm using load balancer, nothing special here. The ingress resource will expose service to outside of the Kubernetes cluster. You should change the host name to your domain. In development, I'm using self-certificate. It's defined in the cluster issuer file. It has three types of issuer, dev, staging, and production. Perfect, now go to Windows Admin Center. Open files and file sharing. In documents create a new folder. And upload all. JML files to Hyper-V server. OK. Open PowerShell then change working directory to the folder you just created. Run command cube control create namespace Jenkins. Then deploy all resources by running command cube control apply dash f dot. We access to Kubernetes dashboard to make sure everything is created successfully. Surely, we need a token, let's get it. All commands are available below video descriptions. Copy the created token to a text editor and remove all line break. We should save it on somewhere to use later. Now, open Jenkins namespace.
Everything looks so good. Let's access to Jenkins dashboard and do some configures. Go to Manage Jenkins, select Manage Nodes and Clouds. Click on Configure Clouds then add a new cloud Kubernetes. Run command cube control cluster info to get Kubernetes URL. Jenkins URL is the internal endpoint of Jenkins service. Following my sample it is http colon slash slash the service name. Create a new pod template. Name is Jenkins Slave. Namespace is Jenkins. Label is Jenkins Slave. Select. Only build jobs with label expressions matching this node. Now create container template. Name is JNLP. Docker image is my Docker image. It's based on Jenkins inbound agent image with pre-installed cube control and Docker client. Set fields. Command to run and arguments are empty. Select allocate psudo tty. Add host path volume. Click save. Now, I will talk about this file. It defines a service account to manage Kubernetes resources in a namespace. Following this config, Jenkins can create, get, delete pods, and so on. We will get the service account token and add it to Jenkins so Jenkins can manage Kubernetes resources on namespace Jenkins. First, get the secret name then get the token. This token is a base64 encoded string. Now decode and store it on Jenkins credentials.
On Manage Jenkins, select Manage Credentials. The store is scoped as global, then add credentials. Select Secret Text. In Secret Field, paste decoded token of service account. Perfect. Now go to Manage Nodes in Cloud. In Credentials, select Token of the Service Account. Now, Jenkins can communicate with Kubernetes API. To make sure everything is working, we create a simple Jenkin pipeline for testing. In pipeline script put my sample script. It will create a pod based on the pod template, then it will run command check docker version and cube control version. Click save. Click build now to run the pipeline. We can open console output to see what's happening. Perfect, it work. That's all. In next video I will show you how to connect to GitHub and deploy sample app. Thank for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.